Well, hello, fellas. Far Cry 6 just dropped a trailer, uh, kind of their most robust gameplay trailer and information trailer so far. Uh, and I wanted to just do a quick response to it. Um, overall, I do not like this trailer. I do not. I'm, I'm, I don't. I'm not a Far Cry hater. I'm not a Far Cry fan. I'm, I'm very cold on the franchise, though, these days. Far Cry 5, I played a little bit of. I liked it. Um, and it could very well be that this game is one of those games that when you play it, it's great. It's, it's really fun. That, that would not surprise me. It, it, there's nothing about it that looks badly made. It looks impressive uh, as a piece of execution and graphics and all that. Um, but it just feels, um, it, it just feels so rote and formulaic at this point that I just struggle, uh, to really care about Far Cry anymore. And it might be like, well, yeah, Jaffe, then you're not a Far Cry fan. Go fuck off. It's fair. Um, but I, I'm, I, and I haven't looked at any review, not reviews, but responses to this video yet. I don't know if the fans are eating this up. I don't know if the press is eating this up, but I look at this and I just go, Jesus Christ, again, it's the maniacal bad guy. And, uh, you know, you're, you're going around an open world and get cars, getting weapons and camps and just, uh, it's enough, right? I mean, I, I genuinely feel a kind of, um, I, I genuinely feel a kind of animosity towards this trailer. Isn't that crazy? It's a fucking game, dude. Shut the fuck up. I know. But it just, it feels like, uh, it just, it feels like an insult. I know that's dumb. I'm not trying to be hyperbolic. It just feels like enough with the, with the, it, you know what it is? It's just such a representation of safe, big budget, uninspired game making, at least based on the trailer. That may not be the game, but the trailer. So that that's, that's my first response. And I don't know, man. I mean, Far Cry 5, I believe, was the best-selling game in the franchise. So it's not like there's not fans out there. Maybe if you're a Far Cry fan watching this, you're like, yeah, fuck off, man. That's like you I'm, uh, hating uh, heavy metal and you go see Kiss and you're like, I didn't like it. It's like, yeah, motherfucker, because it was heavy metal. It's like, could be. But I didn't, I, I, I find this a very off-putting trailer. Um, at least, you know, maybe the next, just do something different, you know? I know they don't want to do Splinter Cell, clearly, with Ubisoft, but, uh, you know, something where you're not just this average dude, woman, fish out of water. Make, let, let me be Sam Fisher in Far Cry. Let me be, you know, there was one part in this trailer where the guy who makes your weapons and stuff gives you this backpack, and even though this wasn't what it was about, there, there you see him wearing it there, um, it, it kind of started hinting to me, it, it had shades of Iron Man. I'm like, make a fucking Far Cry where it's all the same formula that people seem to love, but let me become a superhero. So I start as an average person and suddenly something happens in the first act and the rest of the game is me actually becoming Iron Man or Spider-Man or whatever. It's just something. And I get it. That's not Far Cry. It's not geopolitical and all that, whatever. But I'm just getting bored of this fucking thing. Number two thought on this is it suffers, I think, from the same um, problem, which may not be a problem for you, uh, that a lot of the Rockstar games uh, suffer from, which is it's so tropey based on movies and TV shows that have earned their bona fides of sort of a, a serious, edgy, hardcore story because of interesting narrative techniques and interesting plot and character and nuance. And all this is just the trope part. This is, and again, it may be in the game, but nothing in the trailer makes you look at it and go, oh, wow, that character's really interesting. Or this, this take on this sort of Havana-like environment I've never seen before. It just kind of feels like a, a, a checklist of the greatest hits of, of kind of movies and TV shows that deal with this kind of, you know... Uh, 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 yeah, I guess like Cuba like environment where it's, 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 it's beautiful, but it's crime ridden and it's dangerous. It's like, yeah, I've seen it a thousand times before and this isn't offering much. Um, I did like, they hinted, well, I liked, but I was confused. They hinted at the idea that the main character you play, Danny is a customizable character. So they showed a woman, um, they called her her and she in terms of pronouns, 
But then there was something the narrative director said that was kind of indicating that you could make it a guy, you could make it a girl. There was even some language in there that made me wonder if you could make the character non-binary, um, which on one hand, you know, that's great. Um, I think that's wonderful. And, and if you're going to customize characters, you should have all that. But I also wonder, you know, Ubisoft was, uh, uh, well, a couple things about that, though. It brings up a couple things. One is the game's already bland enough. The least, maybe you could give us a protagonist that at least that's something that pops. But now if you're going to have me customizing the protagonist all live long day, suddenly that's another area where they miss the chance to really give this the flair and the personality that it's clearly lacking. It feels very generic. But the other thing is Ubisoft was a, was a has been accused a number of times. Like, they can't quite get their messaging down for how political they really want to be. There was the whole Black Lives Matter thing that they kind of took out of the mobile game and apologized for last summer. Far Cry 5, uh, one of the negative or number of, the, one of the consistently negative things about that game people said, uh, reviews wise, was like, hey, you know, it, it kind of sets up this Koreshian, Waco, white supremacy, survivalist thing, but it doesn't really plant a flag and take a stand. Now, I didn't play through all of Far Cry 5. I, I liked it, but I, you know, I didn't finish it. So I don't know if that's an accurate complaint, but I bring it up only when it comes to sort of, if, if, if they're kind of saying, you know, we'd like a woman character, but we're worried about the marketing or we're worried about people pushing back on, oh, you're just shoving diversity down our throat. Or we'd like a, a black character, or we'd like a trans character, but we don't really want to plant a flag. We'll just let you, we'll abdicate that to the player. I mean, Far Cry is a fine game to do it in because historically they haven't had a protagonist that really has a great deal of personality. Um, but that said, though, you know, uh, or let's put it this way, if they have... If you're a Far Cry fan and you're like, no, no, what about this one? What about the guys and the college kids with the camera? I think it was Far Cry 3. Uh, maybe, maybe they did, but that's how poorly done it was that I I always thought my guy was just, or my girl or whoever they were, was just sort of a, a bland, vanilla, voiceless, faceless guy. Um, so I, I don't know if them letting you customize feels more like a concession or not, not a concession, but more like a, here's how we get around offending anyone or if it actually is just sort of like, hey, we think this is great. I, I have no idea, but it, it felt, I liked I liked that you had those options, and at the same time, it, it had shades of you know Ubisoft being Ubisoft, right? Um, the last thing I'll say about the gameplay, then I'll say one more quick thing. Um, the weapons, well, not just the weapons. There was this one part in the thing, I see if I can show you, but the, you know, when I was making games, um, we always had these things called marketing moments. And, and what they were, were little moments in the game uh, where like you knew when you were showing the press or you knew when you were showing, um, uh, you know, a group of marketing and sales guys, they're not going to sit around and really give a fuck about the nuance of, you know, here's how Shadow's Weapon in Twisted Metal 2 really works and here's how you can plus it if you're good at the gameplay. They don't care. But if I could kind of show them blowing up the Eiffel Tower, oh, you know, I'm not saying that's bad. It was just, you know, those are calculated things that you put into games, A, because you know the audience will vibe with them, and B, because you need that marketing support early on, and those are the things that they take, you know, elevator pitches and conversations, like, oh, I saw this game, and it, you can blow up the Eiffel Tower, you know, little things that are easier to communicate. Well, as games have gotten more sophisticated, those things feel like they stick out more like a sore thumb. There's this weapon right here in the game. Uh, they're talking about their crazy weapons. And again, I don't know what the app actual you know motivation behind this was, but it feels to me forced. It doesn't feel like it's an organic concept. It feels like you can hear the developers chuckling in the background, like, this is funny, don't you like this? Versus it feeling like, it, it fits, right? I mean, I guess they made a weapon and they made a weapon out of an old boombox CD player and the weapon shoots discs. We've kind of seen this before in Sunset Overdrive, which makes sense though, because that's kind of silly, goofy game. In this case, it's playing the hit song Macarena and as you're running up to somebody, I mean, it just, just it's like, why would you, I guess maybe you'd say, why would you alert yourself by letting people know you're sneaking up behind them like this guard here? Uh, and at the same time, it's like, oh, no, that way they just think you're an average dude with a, a boom box. It's like, yeah, but it looks like a gun. So it, it's just it just feels forced. Um, here it is right here. I'm not going to play the song because I'll get a copyright strike. But, you know, there you go. So it's it's a CD gun that shoots, you know, CDs that 
Play Macarena clearly ripped because those are, you know, CDs that you can burn stuff to. Um, and then there was another thing where like the character puts a cigar in their hand to heal a wound or something. It, 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 as a guy who's made games, it feels like one of those meetings where it's like, guys, you know, we need more personality in the game. We need more shtick. We need more things for people to talk about. And they just had a whiteboard of like 50 personality beats that they could put in the game. And, oh, it's the Macarena thing. And, oh, here's how you can heal with the cigar. I haven't seen that before. And nothing's wrong with those things on their own. But in the context of, of this, it, it, it sticks out and feels really bad to me, okay? The last thing I'll say is, again, I haven't looked at any press on this. For all I know, people are losing their shit. They love it. But, you know, Ubisoft is a company right now that is in the spotlight for toxic behavior, sexual harassment. There was a report that came out recently uh, suggesting that they had not moved near fast enough or effectively enough to make the changes that everybody knows from last summer these guys need to make. Um, and then Ubisoft's president, uh, is it Eve Gelman or something? He came out and kind of commented on that and was trying to like, you know, calm everything and say, no, 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 we're making progress. All I'm saying though is if you're a Kotaku or a Polygon or a big media site or any site that has covered that story and you don't consistently mention it when you're covering these stories. Um, I just, I think that's a little just, that's kind of shitty, right? I mean, it's like, it's one thing to say, look, man, you know, we're a game site. We're going to cover these games. The gamers are interested. I get that. I respect that. I think that's a, the right decision. But either don't cover the bad stuff or when the bad stuff's still happening. I mean, you know what? The movies do it all the time. Look, Woody Allen puts a new movie out. Almost every preview and review is like, look, we'll talk about Midnight in Paris, but, you know, we can't not talk about the elephant in the room, which is Woody Allen is very likely, I don't know this for sure, but a lot of people say he's probably a pedophile. Um, you know, you can't put out a new Michael Jackson album. Uh, you can't put out, you know, here's the new movie from Harvey Weinstein. Now, I'm not saying Ubisoft is the best Harvey Weinstein, but right now, these guys are in the spotlight for running a pretty toxic, sexually abusive uh, environment. And I think it's great when they say they're trying to do better and hopefully they will. Everybody can improve and, 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 and everybody should improve, but to not mention it and again, I don't know, maybe all the articles are mentioning it. I'm just saying I'm mentioning it. And I'm not saying that's why I have a distaste for this. I'm just saying that as you peruse the internet and as you spend some time looking at far cry six, if that's your jam, um, just take a little time to be aware of maybe who's being a hypocrite out there. And it's like, you don't, you shouldn't be able to criticize a company like Ubisoft and then head to their trough and feed with clicks by covering their shit and not mention the fact that they also are currently kind of, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're in the target in terms of metaphorically, in terms of, uh, you know, how they're running their company. All right, there are my thoughts. Clearly, I didn't like it. It may be one of my favorite games, though. A lot of times, a trailer is a trailer. Who gives, really, Jaffe? Who gives a shit, right? The game could be so fun and feel so good that it's just like, yeah, all the things you've said, Jaffe, you're true, but when you play it, it plays like butter. It's, it's good people. Could be that. I'm just responding on what they showed today. My response is negative. I don't like it. Uh, it feels uninspired. It feels like a waste of a shit ton of money. I'm sure they'll make a lot of money off it, so it's not a waste to them. But as a creative fella, it feels like a waste of time, a waste of money. And I would like to see these very talented people who clearly are incredibly skilled and, and creative uh, work on a, something else or work on this, but, but bring some, some fucking, you know, some fucking soul to it, you know? All right, there you go. Far Cry 6, baby. See ya.